The place where people live all the time is called the environment. Mountains, plains, meadows, forests, lakes, seas, rivers form the natural environment. The environment is the integrity of physical, chemical and biotic factors that affect the life of living things in a certain living environment. In a shorter definition, all the factors that affect the life of organisms are its environment. Common in these definitions is the relationship between living and inanimate beings, on the other hand, the integrity of physical, chemical and biological factors that affect living life. Each creature has two circles, one inanimate and the other inanimate. A living environment is all other living things that share the same physical space as a living thing and directly or indirectly affect a living thing. For example, the living environment of a rabbit in the forest is not only rabbits, but other plant and animal organisms found in the forest, people who live and hunt in the forest are also its living environment. Inanimate environments are concrete environments such as rock, water, where living things live inside or on them. In addition, climate elements, water and soil physical and chemical properties form an inanimate environment. When the definition of the environment is taken from the point of view of only human beings, it covers the fact that a person is active on each other in the process of relations with other people and the relationship of a person with all living and inanimate beings other than himself. It is possible to examine the environment under two main headings, physical and social environment according to its nature. If the environment is considered according to spatial dimensions, it can be considered in local, regional, national and international dimensions. The environment in which living things physically perceive their existence, property and quality is called the physical environment. Physical environment natural environment, mountain, sea, lake, etc., and artificial environment, city, town, dam, etc., can be divided into two parts. The environment in which man has no influence in its formation is called the natural environment, and the environment that man has changed for his own purposes is called the artificial environment. The fact that man changes nature according to his own wishes makes it difficult to talk about the natural environment. For example, by building a road, it affects the lifeless environment, while by farming wheat in large areas, it changes the living environment. For this reason, the artificial environment reflects the knowledge, technology and social values of society at the time when it was created. All of the economic, social and political relations of people are called the social environment, and all of the informal relations of people with each other constitute the social environment. In this sense, the social and physical environment are two concepts that complement each other, 